Oh, time for more Smart Show. Don't you hate those interviews where you're not sure what to say and you just sit there in silence? I do. And that's why I've come to the office of Daryl Gurney. He is a best-selling author as well as the webmaster for CareerGuy.com to ask some questions about interviews. Right off the bat, what is the biggest mistake people make in interviews? Besides saying they're desperate and they hate their job? <laughs> yes, beside that. Actually, it's not asking for the job. People become meek about really expressing in a creative, memorable way what's awesome about them. Some of it is just about having the confidence and the boldness to say, I can do this job, may I have this job? Yeah. People don't treat job interviews like it's a business transaction, and that's really what it is. You're selling your services to somebody who can use them. And believe it or not, it's the people who will do that and send a great thank you letter afterwards that generally will get the job, whereas the others won't. So you want to move up the business ladder, but how do you get your name out there? I guess this is a good place for a smart tip. Smart tip! ResumeBlasters.com connects job seekers with headhunters across the country and around the world. This service has an advanced filter program to help ensure your resume gets to the right headhunter who will put you into your dream job. But before you do, check out the online tools at QuintCareers.com. They have worksheets and forms that you can fill out which will help organize your resume, clarify your qualifications, and beef up your accomplishments so you can stand out amongst the rest. It's the best place to start your job search, so no excuses, get out there. So there are some standard fair interview questions. Obviously the number one on the list is when the employer asks you, what is your worst quality? Everybody's been taught and I've taught for years that when you're asked about your weaknesses, you find something that's great about you and then you couch it in terms of, oh, but this is a weakness. I as, work too hard and I never ask for a raise. And that'll work sometimes. That'll work in some real remedial type of interview situations. But today, companies are pretty advanced too. But even if you do share something that's authentic about yourself, you still gotta show how you've been responsible for it. So next question on my list, what interests you about our company? They wanna see if you know anything about them. You want to always go in with talking points. Don't ever go into an interview without 20 questions that you've written down. It's like, would you ask a girl to marry you and then say, but, uh, but I don't know a thing about you? Yes. <laughs> well, you would. That probably wouldn't get you hired, though. Doesn't get me married, either. Right. So there you have it. Let that light shine. Don't hide it under a bush. We'll keep helping you right here on The Smart Show. Friends, it's Niederator time. AOK -okay writes in, what's the best way to track my travel expenses without an envelope stuffed with receipts? Well, that's a good question. And a great screen name, AOK. -okay. In today's fast-paced business world, no one has time for notebooks and envelopes. Mint.com is the best free way to manage your money. All you have to do is sign up and enter in your expenses. It'll create charts, graphs, and automatically update itself with each new entry. It's like your own online accountant for free. Now, if you have a question for the Niederator, just go to the address listed below and type it in. We may answer it on the next episode of The Smart Show.